With over 60% of the population of Nairobi living in informal settlements, the concerns of these people cannot be ignored. Korokosho mi najua it is a small ka market. Mali watu wanaenda kuuza vitu zao kama machungwa, kama maembe, and kuku, eggs. Aza wengine kuna wanyo wanaishi, kuna wanyo wanafanya biyashara zao. Kwa korokosho ni mesha tembea, upa watu wako, ya ni maisha ni ashida. Na siku penda kwa mtu. I don't think it's a very good place to live. Um, I've never been there myself. According to what I hear, it's not a very conducive place to live, not very clean. It's not a, a good environment for kids to grow up in. The government can do something. I mean, don't you think the government can provide Kenyans with a place they can live in cheap, but still decent and still clean, without having them live in a filthy place without even a toilet to go to? The Features Desk recently visited Korogosha slum and in the coming weeks we will share with you some of the stories told by the people we encountered. Mimi ni mkaji wa Korokocho kuanzia nikiwa msichana niseme tu 1980 mpaka wa leo. Mimi hasa sina kazi. Juu yoyote ile napata naweza fanya. Ile natukumba hasa sisi watu wa Korokocha hasa kwa vijana wetu ni ulevi. Nao yale nayochangia ulevi ni ukosa masomo kwa sababu hata watoto wetu wakifanya vizuri mashuleni hizi za msingi uwa tupati mapato ya kuwapeleka secondary schools sasa mtoto anapokosa masomo uwe anachangia mambo nyinga na anaweza jiungu na grupu mbaya sio rahisi si wakajua korokocha hata mtoto asome vizuri na awe na certificate apate kazi mara nyingi wanapopeleka vieti zao kwa offices uwa anapuuza kwamba korokocho sasa mtoto wa korokocho anaweza fanya kazi gani what comes to your mind when you hear the word korogosho hapa korogosho ile kitu naweza penda ni kutafutia hawa watoto wa chichana na vijana kazi kama ni habari hizi ya kukaa na hizi manyumba hii manyumba pengine unakaa ni nyumba kidogo manake pale mnakaa unakaa pamoja na watoto na hii nyumba mnafinyana through the slum radio project human rights lobby amnesty international wants the issues affecting this section of the population listened to planned for and included in the country's development agenda. We realize that many people, especially in Kenya, don't know what uh, uh, life is like in the slums. And uh, this particular project is in fact speaking to people who are not living in the slums. People who can uh, understand what uh, the slum dwellers are going through and um, voice uh, their concern but also their support for changes that uh, we need to see in the slums. We are not addressing people that are already living in the slums because they know these issues. But these issues are very big. They are so big that we need everybody's intervention. We need the middle class, we need the high class, we need the leaders, we need uh, the church leaders, we need Kenyans to realize that human beings in fact live in informal settlements. On our first visit to Korogosho, we met a lady who put the existence of this slum into context. Nilizaliwa pa Korokocho 1956 wakati kulikuwa kuna watu wengine na babangu aliwacho hapa na Muitalian juu ni Muitalian alikuwa kimiliki land hizo miaka na yeye alikuwa akifanya kama watchman sasa alipokuwa pale babangu alikuwa anaitwa Ezekia Kamau sasa kulikuwa na vijiji kama vinne sasa akienda hiyo kijiji ilikuwa ikiitwa Kitadhuru iko na huku chini akiuliza uko na pale Kamau aya anasema yeye niko na pale kama gikorogosho akina mishali tukaendelea kuishi tukaendelea watu wakaanza kukuja walianza kuja mmoja mmoja mtu akikuja anamwambia si nisaidie na pahali ya kujenga anampeleka kwa chief huyo mtu anakuja anaambiwa na chief anapewa baru enda umuoneshe pahali ya kujenga hivyo hivyo mpaka korokocho ikakuja sasa vile ilivyo Joseph Gadu also grew up in Korogosho he is now one of the local leaders Mamangu alikuja hapa 65 baada kutoka kule sehemu za nyumbani huko Kisaji Nyeri so kuingia hapa 65 tokea 65 hatujai hama kutoka hapa wakati huo tuliingia hapa 
In fact, kulikuwa na structures saba peke yake. Seven structures. Na wakati huo ndio tulipata huyo mzee ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Kamau Kerie ambaye ndiye alikuwa mwanzilishi hapa. Kaja akajiita jina Korogosho. The Slum Radio Project series on Capital will bring you in-depth features on life in Nairobi's informal settlements over the next couple of weeks.